Hi there, and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers video about Photoshop. Today we're going to be making one of these circular pixel effects. You can see it looks like I'm about to do a cartwheel, and you've got the pixels going around to make a circle to create that really cool effect. To do this, we're going to be using a photograph of a person in motion. So I've got a picture of me outside, looking like I'm about to do a cartwheel. And then we need to select the subject of this picture, so we've got a cutout image to do this we go to select and subject once we have selected the subject it'll take a moment for it to select it once it has done it it saves us all the time of going around cutting it out ourselves we then add a layer mask here so we've now got a mask out image of the person you'll notice there's a white box around the mask we move it back and click on the actual image here then we go to our tools. It will probably be set up to rectangular. We want single column marquee tool. We draw it across where we've got the images we want to create the pixel stretch effect with. So in that case, it is here. Then we press con edit, copy, and edit, paste. And we've now got a layer with just that one little strip in it. We go to the move tool and we start to stretch it. We make sure that the link is unclicked so that they don't link together. Then we stretch all the way across the image like so, and we press enter. And you can see we now have our stretched pixels, which if I place it behind the person, you can see there is the stretched pixels all the way across. Now, to create the effect we want, firstly, we need to turn it upside down. So we're gonna to go to Edit, transform, flip vertical. Once we have done that, it will be upside down. Then we don't want this green bit or this blue bit, so we are going to use the rectangular marquee tool and get rid of those pieces. So we're going to do get the selection that we want. Then we're going to go to select inverse, so we've got the bit we don't want, and then we're going to press backspace on our keyboard, and you can see that it has deleted the pieces we don't want. Okay, we press Control D, we can just make sure it's all good. So, next we need to use the Move tool, and we ideally want it to be an exact square, because it makes it so much easier to do what we want to do with it. You can see that when we start to shift it over, it gives us the dimensions in pixels and you can see that it is slightly wider than it is tall so if we stretch it down a bit so it's a bit taller and the numbers start to be the same and make sure it is an exact square it just makes it all a bit easier later on stretch it up a slight bit more there Okay, so it should be a square. So then when we do the filter, make sure to press enter once we stretched it, we're gonna to go to filter, distort polar coordinates. Once we click that, we click okay, and we should have a perfect circle of our pixels, which we can then put our person in front of, and you can see we have got our circle. Next, we can then use the move tool to maneuver it to exactly where we want to get it to line up with our image, like so. And when we are completely satisfied with how it looks, we again press enter on the keyboard. Now that is the typical circle. There's lots of things we can now do to our image to really make it pop. The first thing we want to do is get rid of this area here so it looks like the arm swinging round in a big loop and i think personally this area is too much so to do that we are going to make another layer mask this time on the layer with the circle on it so we're going to click the layer mask button we're going to use the paintbrush and we are going to use the black paint here so we make sure that's black make sure on the paintbrush and we're going to select a reasonable size to do the mask. That's too big. And then we're going to mask out this area very carefully around 
the edge here like so and making sure we're really carefully getting all the bits we want masked out masked out like so we can fill in this little area here and we've now got the masked out bit I also think we need to leave a little circle in the middle so we mask that bit out I think it might be better with a little bit bigger circle so I'll make this a bit rounder and take out that middle circle right back there that's better I'm almost, I'm fairly happy with the way the circular bit around here looks I'm not massively fan of that bit up the top here so I'm just going to squeeze it in slightly so that it fits a little bit better with the head and then press enter so there is that part of the image next we are going to look at adding a background layer so that we can have our picture in front of something and the best way to do that is use the gradient tool we can use any color we like but in this case i'm just going to use black and white which i've already got set up when we go over to the layer menu we're going to click on the new layer menu and you can see it's created a new layer here we're going to drag that to the bottom of our layer menu we're going to press ctrl minus on the keyboard so it zooms out slightly then we're going to add a gradient across here like so so we've now got our image floating through there and you can see as i did that i'm not massively happy still with this corner here where the head is so i'm going to go back to my layer mask here i'm going to switch over to the white paint Get the paintbrush and this time I'm going to take a softer edge brush and sort of blend it in slightly more. Yeah, that's better to create that effect. Now I've done it too much, so I'm going to go back to the black and just fade out that last little bit, and that should look like it's blending out of the head a bit more, which is what we want. So there is our pixel stretch effect using um, the single column, the single column marquee tool. Now, hopefully, you've enjoyed watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed watching this video, and if you have, obviously, pop over to the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And you can see there is a horizontal pixel stretch tutorial here as well that you can have a look at if you want to do a horizontal pixel stretch. And yeah, have fun enjoying making these cool pixel effects. Oh, plus one other thing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye.